In the previous class, we have discussed about one of the viral disorder that is common cold. We have learnt about the epidemiology till the treatment. The same steps I will be following here even with respect to the disease hepatitis. Now, let me tell you what is hepatitis. It is the inflammation of liver. So, generally when we talk about hepatitis, it is acute if it is, uh, you know, uh, if it lasts for around 6 months. If it uh, lasts more than 6 months, then definitely it may result in chronic uh, uh, hepatitis. Further, in case of acute hepatitis, it can resolve within itself. Whereas with respect to chronic, if it progresses to worse condition, definitely there might be in rare conditions the liver failure. Further, if it prolongs and continues to in fact damage the liver tissue, definitely there can be more scaring of liver tissue. The liver failure may also occur and also it may result in liver cancer. Dear friends, as liver is the majorly affected organ, let me tell you that most of the body functions, especially with respect to digestion, are affected. I am going to tell you few of the functions which are majorly affected due to the you know, damage which is caused uh, to the liver with the uh, disease hepatitis. Firstly, the production of bile is affected which is very important for the process of Digestion is the first point you need to remember. Moving ahead, even toxins are also not filtered properly. Thirdly, the bilirubin pigment. As we all know that it is the formed by the breakdown of the RBCs. So its excretion is affected and also the excretion of cholesterol drugs as well as the hormones is affected. So, let me also tell you friends that storage of glycogen minerals and also fat soluble vitamins that is A, D, E and K are affected. Synthesis of uh, further blood proteins for example like albumin is affected. Moving ahead, even clotting factors are also not synthesized due to the this is called the hepatitis because liver is majorly affected. So this was uh, you know, a very short introduction about hepatitis. Dear friends, coming to epidemiology of this disease, let me tell you, across the world, around 2.3 billion people are infected with one or the other types of hepatitis virus. It results in around 1.4 million deaths per year. So on the other side, let me tell you, hepatitis B virus and hepatitis C virus cause 90% of fatalities whereas the other types that is hepatitis, uh, uh, you know, we have uh, A, we have uh, what I can say hepatitis D, hepatitis E, hepatitis G, all the other types of hepatitis viruses cause 10% fatality. 
fatalities. So this was a very short, uh, what I can say, epidemiology of hepatitis. Moving ahead, let me now tell you the causative agents and transmission of this uh, disease. There are six strains of hepatitis that is, hepatitis A, hepatitis B, C, D, E, and G. So, among this, hepatitis A, D, E, and G are caused due to unhygienic practices and through contaminated water and food. Rather we can say they are transmitted through orofecal roads that is through the digestive tract. We have hepatitis B and C which are transmitted by the blood and sexual intercourse. So they can also be referred to as serum hepatitis. So, these are a few important uh, aspects uh, with respect to the causative agents and the transmission. Further, if I want to mention few important points here, we can say not only through the blood and sexual intercourse, it can also be transmitted through other body fluids like saliva, tears, breast milk and uh, other body fluids. The symptoms of this disease include mild fever together with muscle or joint aches, loss of appetite, so the person may not feel hunger. Then we have fatigue. Uh, the person may become very much tired, unexplained weight loss, we have generalized itching, then we have further abdominal pains, nausea, vomitings, and even dark urine, light colored stools through excretion can also be seen with respect to the hepatitis disease. So here the points to be noted is that, so these are the general symptoms. One is, you know, uh, basically we can find unexplained uh, what is the weight loss if there is much of the digestion uh, which is affected. Together with, you know, all these symptoms, let me also tell you that jaundice may or may not appear as a symptom of hepatitis. That is the yellowing of the eye as well as the nails. So, these are the you know, symptoms that we can find with respect to this disease. Moving on to diagnosis, first the doctor will definitely go for a physical examination of the patient. He definitely will check pressing the abdomen whether there is a pain or tenderness. Even by pressing the abdominal region, he will check whether the liver is enlarged or not. Together with identifying the symptoms of jaundice, the yellowing of eyes and nails, he can say that a, pers a particular person may have a hepatitis uh, symptoms or he may suspect that the patient is ill. He may have a, that uh, specific disease called hepatitis. Moving on, there are specific tests to detect hepatitis. Firstly, liver function test. This is this also uses blood test wherein any abnormalities with respect to liver functioning is noted. 
the secretion of hormones or enzymes from the liver, whether or the pigments are affected or not, or any enzymes are secreted in increased uh, higher amounts, or further the secretory functions or the other digestive functions are proper or not can be definitely checked by this LFT, what you call in uh, short or liver function test. Moving on to the second diagnostic test, we have blood tests. So, if the doctor is confirmed that or uh, he is suspecting that there is certain abnormality with respect to liver function test, he will go for blood test to check whether the person has hepatitis virus. So, if uh, hepatitis virus through blood test is diagnosed, then definitely the person will have hepatitis. So, this is the second test. Moving ahead, we have ultrasound. So, this takes the internal images of the abdominal organs. Firstly, let me tell you, my dear friends, not only liver, the other organs are also covered, say for example, liver and other organs. So, here, the doctor will examine for liver, he will see whether the liver is enlarged or not, whether there is any scaling or damage of the liver tissues or there is any fluid accumulation in the abdominal region or any other factors which may be associated with hepatitis. Further, we have also liver biopsy. So, this is an invasive technique when a doctor will directly inject a syringe or, or and extract the tissues of liver or any other target organ for any other disease. Anyway, so after extracting the tissue, the tissues are studied for its uh, function. Definitely through this also, there are chances that the person can be immediately, you know, if he has any symptoms diagnosed with the, the disease. So these are the but again, in simple terms, I have told you the diagnostic uh, aspects about the hepatitis. Moving ahead with preventive measures, let me tell you the first and foremost uh, preventive measure is with respect to vaccinations. So that is very much highly recommended. We need to go for vaccination from the uh, birth itself. Secondly, having responsible sexual behavior, it means to say to avoid the spread of this disease, barriers like condoms should be considered. Thirdly, while taking drugs, the needles should be avoided. Because definitely from the infected needles, uh, as there is a direct contact of one body fluid with the other, chances are there that the disease may spread from the infected person to the healthy one. Personal hygiene can never be forgotten here, especially with respect to hand washing. So proper scientific uh, method of hand washing should be followed by using soap. Fifth. Especially during body piercings and tattoos when are you know made on the body, it should be you know extra in fact precautionary measures should be taken. So this is also very important. Further general precautionary measures, preventive measures which we need to consider, say for example, if you are moving to a place which does not have good sanitation which has uh, you know much of garbage pile up which has uh, uh, poor uh, you know sanitation with respect to you know open drainage systems open sewages so we need to see that we follow hygienic uh, uh, rules and regulations there moving ahead let me also tell you, you know while traveling especially we need to avoid the water you know uh, you know which is uh, given in other areas if it is better that we carry the you know uh, boiled water or you know the bottled water. So these are the general precautionary measures, preventive measures we need to definitely follow to avoid the disease hepatitis. And further, if you are participating in any risky behaviors, say for example, especially the people who are working in nursing homes, dormitories, 
or even for that matter restaurant and any other uh, places where there is more contact with the infected people they will need to follow higher standards of these preventive measures lastly we are going to discuss here about the treatment of the hepatitis firstly let me tell you my dear friends that if it is mild condition or if it is acute hepatitis then there is need not to be you know the medications are considered definitely the bed rest along with proper uh, uh, fluid intake and uh, you know treatment from the doctor for diarrhea and other digestive problems will definitely do it so if the condition is chronic then we have to go for long term medical evaluations uh, without any doubt so further chronic conditions if it leads to severe symptoms definitely we need to go for many antiviral treatments so in fact which are very costly especially these these are considered for hepatitis b and they are very costly and has to be you know continued for many months further if there is scarring of liver tissue what you generally refer to as cirrhosis so we need we need to go for further surgical procedures in fact in severe cases there may be chances that liver transplantation has to be done which is a very difficult process again so the donor and recipient has to match uh, in so many so uh, medical ways so anyway that is one of the treatment uh, which is available further continuing this let me also tell you that we know already that alpha interferons are used for the treatment of hepatitis especially uh, the hepatitis d and also other hepatitis so they are also antiviral agents so these are some of the treatments which can be considered and coming to you know all the other types of hepatitis may require treatment but when it comes to especially hepatitis e it may not require much of uh, treatment bed rest may do along with proper fluid intake and uh, uh, solving the other uh, normal you know digestive problems so these are the important points pertaining to the disease hepatitis again my dear friends i am requesting you please go through the epidemiology causative agents and symptoms and all the other important points till the treatment further i request everyone to note down the points and if you have any doubts or clarifications scroll down and come to the comment section please uh, mention your comments there like subscribe share to bioc classes and keep updated for more videos